Welcome to the Summer Food Service Program Basics Sponsor Eligibility Training hosted by Oregon Department of Education Child Nutrition Programs. This training will review the requirements to be a sponsor of the Summer Food Service Program. The Summer Food Service Program will be referred to as SFSP for the duration of this training. In this training, we will review information on what it means to be a sponsor, how to determine the eligibility of a sponsor, and how to start the application process to be an SFSP sponsor. First, let's address what it means to be a sponsor of the SFSP. SFSP sponsors must be able to assume responsibility for the entire administration of the program. At a minimum, an organization will complete the state agency's training on an annual basis, locate and recruit eligible meal sites, hire, train, and supervise staff and volunteers, adhere to procurement requirements in acquiring food to be prepared or vended, monitor all sites, prepare claims for reimbursement, ensure sites are sustainable, and maintain program documents for three years plus the current year. Organizations not ready to take on the responsibilities may potentially operate as a site under an existing SFSP sponsor if one is available. For more information, connect with the ODE Community Nutrition Programs. The email address is on this slide. Only certain types of organizations may be approved to sponsor the SFSP. In order to be eligible to be a sponsor, the organization must be a public or private nonprofit school food authority, SFA, a public or private nonprofit residential camp, a public or private nonprofit college or university participating in the National Youth Sports Program, a unit of local, county, municipal, state, or federal government, or any other type of private nonprofit organization. A tribal government is recognized as a public entity or local government when consistent with state law. Special rules apply to private nonprofit organizations. Private nonprofit sponsors must be tax exempt under Section 501C of the Internal Revenue Code of 1986. Although churches must be tax exempt, there is no federal requirement that they provide documentation of their tax exempt status. Therefore, churches are the only private nonprofit organizations that may be exempted from obtaining documentation of federal tax exempt status. All other private nonprofit organizations must provide documentation from the IRS of their tax exempt status. For purposes of program participation, a church could be its integrated auxiliaries or a convention or association of churches, synagogue, religious order, or religious organization that is an integral part of a church and that is engaged in carrying out the functions of a church. IRS Publication 557 Tax Exempt Status for Your Organization. It is important to note that for profit organizations cannot be approved to sponsor the SFSP. However, for profits may be approved to be the location of a meal site under an approved sponsor of the SFSP. For more information, please see the Summer Food Service Program Basics Site Eligibility and Documentation Training. Sponsors that have successfully participated in SFSP in the previous year, meaning those that have not been found to be seriously deficient in program operations, may submit updated information for subsequent operating years after initial approval. This is what ODE CNP refers to as renewals for the SFSP. School food authorities, referred to as SFAs, and other sponsors currently in good standing in the National School Lunch Program NSLP, School Breakfast Program, SBP, or Child and Adult Care Food Program, CACFP, are not required to submit further evidence of financial and administrative capability when applying for SFSP participation. Typically, SFAs and CACFP sponsors participating in other child nutrition programs have already demonstrated that they have the financial and administrative capability necessary to operate the NSLP, SBP, or CACFP. An SFA or CACFP sponsor is considered to be in good standing 
if it has been reviewed during the previous 12 months and had no significant deficiencies. However, ODE CNP has the discretion to deny the applications or at a minimum require additional evidence of financial and administrative capability from SFAs and CACFP sponsors that have had significant problems operating the NSLP, SBP, CACFP, or SFSP. Sponsors must demonstrate financial and administrative capability. Potential and returning sponsors are required to demonstrate that they have the necessary financial and administrative capability to comply with program requirements. Those named as responsible principals of the organization must accept final financial and administrative responsibility for all of their sites, including operations. Not be seriously deficient. To be approved, applicants must not have been declared seriously deficient or terminated from the SFSP or any other federal child nutrition programs in previous years. However, such an applicant may be approved if ODE CNP determines that it has taken appropriate corrective actions to prevent recurrence of the deficiencies and has repaid any outstanding debts. Serve low-income children. Sponsors must agree to provide regularly scheduled meal service for children in designated low-income areas also referred to as areas in which poor economic conditions exist, or they must agree to serve low-income children. Camps do not need to only operate in low-income areas. However, residential and non-residential camps must collect and maintain individual income eligibility forms or other eligibility documentation for participants. Camps are reimbursed only for enrolled children who meet the free and or reduced price eligibility standards. Conduct a nonprofit food service. Sponsors must conduct food services through SFSP that are not for profit. A sponsor is operating a nonprofit food service if the food service operations conducted by the institution are principally for the benefit of participating children and all of the program reimbursement funds are used solely for the operation or improvement of such food service. This does not mean the program must break even or operate at a loss, but that all income must be used for the SFSP or other federal child nutrition programs. Sponsors must provide year-round service. Sponsors must provide a year-round public service to the area in which they intend to provide the SFSP. ODE CNP may grant exceptions to this year-round service requirement for sponsors of residential camps, migrant sites, and in certain other limited circumstances. Exercise management control over sites. New applicants and returning sponsors, not exempted by ODE CNP, must demonstrate in their application that they will exercise management control over the meal service at all of their sites. Management control of the meal service means that the sponsor is responsible for maintaining contact with meal service staff, ensuring that there is adequately trained meal service staff on site, and monitoring site operations throughout the period of program participation. ODE CNP also may require experienced sponsors to demonstrate in their application that they will exercise management control over the meal service at all of their sites. Management responsibilities cannot be delegated below the sponsor level or to outside vendors or food service management companies. The quality of the meal service, the conduct of site personnel, and the adequacy of record keeping reflect directly upon the sponsor's performance. This performance is subject to audit by ODE CNP, by the USDA Office of the Inspector General, and by the Government Accountability Office. Conduct pre-operational visits. Sponsors must certify that all sites have been visited and are capable of providing meal service for the number of children as planned. Sign written agreements. Approved sponsors must sign a written permanent agreement with ODE CNP. Organizations may be approved to sponsor SFSP sites located in any state regardless of whether the sponsor is physically located within the boundaries of the state where the proposed site is located. Sponsors not located within the state where a proposed site is located 
must take additional measures to ensure that ODE CNP is able to complete its monitoring duties. To better facilitate ODE CNP monitoring of multi state sponsors, these sponsors must make requested materials available in the state where the sponsor's sites are located. ODE CNP may approve only sites that are located within Oregon. Sponsors must enter into an agreement with the SFSP state agency for each state where its sites are located, regardless of where the sponsor itself is actually based. Therefore, when a sponsor is located in one state and operates SFSP sites in other states, an agreement must be entered into with the administering agencies in all states where the sponsor has a site. If your organization meets the requirements outlined in this presentation, your organization may be eligible to be an SFSP sponsor. To start the process, complete the SFSP eligibility assessment. This can be found on the Becoming an SFSP Sponsor webpage on the ODE CNP public website. ODE CNP actively processes SFSP applicants in February and March for the upcoming year. Applications received after this time frame may not be approved in time for operations in the same year. If an eligibility assessment is received outside of these times, ODE CNP will still review and follow up as needed. For additional details, review the Summer Food Service Program Basics application training for details on the application process. If you have any additional questions that were not addressed today, please reach out to your assigned child nutrition specialist. Here's a short message from the Oregon Department of Education. ODE supports equity and excellence for every learner and seeks to work with school districts, education service districts, and community partners like you. We believe all children should have access to a high quality, well-rounded learning experience. This institution is an equal opportunity provider. Thank you for taking this training. We hope you found it helpful.